Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Falcon Focus. I'm your host, Vaughn Purdy, and I'm very excited today. As we promised uh, in the beginning of the season, it is my plan to introduce you all to our new employees and our new um, activities at Simmons College of Kentucky. Well, I'm very excited today that we have uh, two wonderful guests with us who are going to be the new faces of Simmons College of Kentucky and the new outreach to our corporations in the area who have already partnered with us. Uh, with me today are Dr. Erica Gray, who is our Director of Career Development at Simmons College of Kentucky, and Ms. Courtney Standard, who is the Assistant Career Development Engagement Officer. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your proper title, Ms. Courtney. My official title is Employment Engagement Coordinator, That's so it encompasses all that. <laughs> so welcome, welcome both of you to the show. Thank you. I'm so glad you decided to Thank be my you. guest because I want everyone to meet you all and figure find out what you all are doing. First of all, tell us how long you've been at Simmons College of Kentucky. You go first, Dr. Gray, and is it okay if I call you Erin? Yes. Thank you. I have been at Simmons College of Kentucky for two months now. Two months. And you, Miss Courtney? It'll be two months on the 10th. So we brought these young ladies in <laughs> together because we realized we need to revamp our career services and career development, and that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, Dr. Gray, tell us more about our audience, more about your background. Why is career services important to you? So my background is a little bit unique. I started um, in education as a sixth grade language arts teacher ah. and then transitioned into higher education by being an academic counselor through the TRIO Talent Search Program. And we helped prepare high school and middle school students from first generation low income backgrounds for college. From there, I went to career development at the Speed School um, for engineering at UofL, okay. where I worked with chemical and electrical engineering. And then I left there and went to Kentucky State University as director of first and second year experience and then executive director of scholarship and persistence. Now that is a lot of information. <laughs> but that's great. That just shows that you have the background and skills that we need at Simmons College of Kentucky. So, Ms. Courtney, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, it is completely polar opposite from Dr. Grace. Um, I have a background in design, okay. in fashion design, interior design. Um, but with that said, I've worked jobs over the years where I've been in management positions. Okay. So from a career standpoint, I've helped build young women up from the point of key holder okay. to supervisor. Okay. So I think that that part of me could be an asset to Services. Well, it's not could be, it's going to be. Well, you got it right. Right. Because <laughs> you are here now. You got it right. So we expect great things from the both of you. You got it right. Now tell us what is your first, Dr. Gray, what was your first impression of Simmons College of Kentucky? You Had you heard about Simmons and what were your impressions? So as a member of St. Stephen's, I've always known that Simmons existed. Um, I used to have uh, Sunday school classes in the Heritage Room. Ah. Oh, that's um, going really. The Heritage Room is one of our historic buildings on the campus of Simmons College of Kentucky. Um, so I've always known about Simmons and I've always heard about Simmons from Pastor Cosby. Okay. So it's not new to me. Okay. And what are your impressions so far of Simmons? I know you've only been here two weeks, two months. So you, you just uh, my, jumped right in. Yes, I jumped right in. Um, my first impression was these people really do have faith in me. That's great. <laughs> Yay. Um, my, my overall impression is I have the opportunity to develop something unique to West Louisville and I have Courtney to help me with outreach. And I also have the ability to see that we can go from 145 students to 3,000. So I plan that way as well. That is wonderful because that's I think what we all strive for at Simmons. Now, Courtney, tell me what was some of the first things you've done already with the students? How have you engaged them so far? Well, it's funny because we've been to a few of the student functions and due to COVID, right. it's a little awkward. I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. Um, a lot of people are, you know, 
wanting to do things virtually, which mm -hmm. to me, I think outreach is an in-person thing, you know, so I'm fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. you know, and we, but we've been safely myself, social distancing? We have been definitely safely social distancing. <laughs> um, but for me, um, With the students, I wanted, under the leadership of Erica, I wanted to do, we wanted a different approach. Okay. I think you mentioned it before, meeting students where they're at. Yep. That's one of my big Not things. setting them, you know, being way up here and, you know, they need help to be, to be, be built up there. One of the things I've done was created social media. Okay. You know, I think that students are always on social media. So what better way than to get on social media so that they can directly see what we're doing. Okay. And what's the reaction been so far? Well, we've grown from zero followers. We have about, I think last time I checked, we're up to 44 followers. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's I mean, we just good. created the page not yeah. too long ago. Um, so I follow, you know, different businesses in the community, but I've also followed a few students just so they can say, hey, you know, Simmons CDC is following me. I wonder who that is. Let me click on that and they see it's the career development. Okay. And it's another means of communication, you know, outside of email, right. or outside of phone, outside of texting to where they can directly reach us. Um, that's one of the ways. Another way is just simply trying to get out there and get in front of students. Um, going to the uh, student success fairs, mm -hmm. going where the students hang out in the yes. student lounge, hanging yes. flower, uh, excuse me, flyers there. Mm -hmm. If they're getting fed, going to hang out there and talking to them and understanding their pain points. Right. because. Had I not known that, had I not done that, I wouldn't have known. I've, I've gotten the name of several students who, you know, might have had a pain point in the past where they felt like um, they weren't provided certain opportunities or, you know, they wanted this and it turned out to be that. But just really understanding that so that we can know how to grow the Career Development Center mm -hmm. in a way that's beneficial to them. That's wonderful. I, career services development, I should say, is a uh, very important to me because in the absence of you all I had taken a lot of some of that responsibility because intake of corporations and us always networking in the community mm -hmm. we've always asked them what to do and how to help students so I am so glad to um, take the relationships that we've developed with Dr. Cosby and uh, those of us in upper administration and pass the baton to you all so tell me some of the plans you have for the near future and what you want to do differently and how you, you plan to reach out to the corporate community. So, hold on, what was your first question? What did you plan to do differently? What I plan to do differently is to reignite engagement. And I know that you can't necessarily wipe out a oh. pandemic, right? Like no. I have no control over that. Right. But I feel like every day is a different opportunity to try to figure it out. So we have career fair coming up and it's going to be a hybrid. It'll be in person, but also if a company doesn't feel comfortable coming in person, they can present their business online uh -huh. during their session time. Students log in, there's a Q&A session. Um, it's a gateway to an interview, hopefully. But it's also an opportunity to still keep conversation moving and opportunities flowing in. What I also would love to do is to have students come by more often. Mm -hmm. So if that means they have to dip into the budget to have things to pass out because sometimes they need a reason to come uh -huh. other than to uh -huh. see us because why would I, they just want to come see us, right? Uh -huh. So maybe it's pizza with career development or it's come by, you get a pad folio to take to your interview, but also it's a conversation because you have to come by and say hi first, okay. right? Um, so learning how to introduce yourself by stopping by or having networking opportunities with different corporations and businesses in the city. Um, anything really that just gets people back together okay. safely. Mm -hmm. Right, safely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, one thing about us, uh, we just finished a Simmons Fest and we were outside, so mm -hmm. we can engage that mm -hmm. way. And we're, I'm pretty sure you are going to be very creative when it comes to that. And I think the, uh, even though we are forced to do things differently because of COVID, I think we have learned how to adjust over the last yep. year. So I think a good, good thing now is a lot more corporations can participate with us Mm -hmm. If we're making it a hybrid and making it virtually, so that could be a plus. 
Um, so I think that's very creative and I look forward to um, seeing how that plays out. I'm going to add one more thing mm -hmm. and Courtney, after I start saying it, she's going to have something to say. <laughs> Handshake. Yes. Handshake is a software system that is a hub for opportunities, pretty much. So if you're an employer, you can register an account and put job postings, communicate with students directly, set up interviews, do a report and draft resumes that are available, and then work your way through those. If you're a student, you register your account, you have a profile, you set your interests, um, you're able to apply to jobs by just clicking apply. So once you upload your resume, mm -hmm. all you do is click apply and you've applied to this job. Okay. So it's, it's extremely user friendly. We just want more companies, more students to use it because it has a whole, like a range of functionality. It's okay. amazing. I think people need to know about that. Is Handshake the one most corporations use the most? So Handshake is, it's like a CRM minus the bill pay. Now tell our audience what a CRM is. Um, it's a campus resource management system. So a lot of places ha or universities have it to where people can make payments if they're paying for career fair or if they're doing donations, you can send out invoices. Mm -hmm. Handshake just doesn't have the bill pay part, but it has all the other components okay. to it. It does. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to add something? Here she goes. Handshake. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Handshake is my new baby. You I mean, like Handshake? I, I like Handshake and I've really, I've had a, a long date with Handshake <laughs> over the last two months. Now, did you um, know Handshake before you I came here? I did not. I had never heard oh, of Handshake. Oh, that's nice that you jumped in and enjoyed Handshake. I've never handshake. heard of Handshake. Because I'd heard horror, story, horror it, stories about Handshake. That's because I'm not in I It could be a horror story yes. uh -huh. if it's a company that doesn't have, um, a reputation already set. Correct. So if you're a startup, okay. and it's a safety mechanism, it's not because, oh, they think they're too good to let Correct. us communicate right. with their students. Handshake screens the companies before uh -huh. it can be approved. So it'll deny it if you don't have a phone number listed, uh -huh. if you don't have a credible website, if you don't have people listed on your profile, it's not going to let you be approved. So what and happens to small startups? Like we, we have a sociology majors who are Courtney will contact them once they send uh -huh. an email saying, uh -huh. why was I denied? So, <laughs> what it That's comes weird. down to is we live in a world where everything is online. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and we have to protect. There has to be some measure in place to not only protect the university, but to protect the students. Sure. Because if I'm a student and I see a job posted for $100,000 mm -hmm. and they hiring right out the gate, it's going to sound appealing to me. Right. But it's really fraud. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? We just want to cut down... And it's not to say that, like uh, Erica mentioned earlier, startup companies, the best thing I can say for startup companies is to make sure that the domain matches the business name, if possible. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is, like Erica mentioned, having a phone number, okay. having a website, having a graphic. Just think of all the things that you would look for if you're going to hire someone to do something okay. for you. The things that you're looking for on the website, the things that you're looking for out of, you know, you, it may have a testimonial or two. Okay. And, and quite frankly, the most important thing would be to have a job posted. <laughs> okay. Because that's ultimately, <laughs> essentially, that's what people are going to the page for is exactly. to apply for a position. Exactly. So, so we're going to take a small break. Okay. And after this break, we're going to come back and talk more about Handshake and how you can participate in the upcoming career fair. Music department at Simmons College now offers a gospel track for its music performance degree. Our department of music exists to develop musical knowledge and skill. Students become beneficiaries of program features and faculty that distinguish music as both an academic and artistic discipline. Program options include brass and wood, wood instruments, as well as guitar bass, strings, piano, percussion, and voice. Your gifts will be encouraged and developed by a staff of experienced performing musicians and by the warm support of your peers. You will have frequent opportunities to perform, including vocal ensemble, gospel choir, 
jazz ensemble, marching band, and other ensembles, both on and off campus. Your music program can go no higher than those who lead it. Now is your time to build a strong music ministry from within. Help support passion already in your community. Help develop gifts already in your congregation. You might have the next James Cleveland in your church and don't know it. The heritage of artistic dignity found at historic black colleges and universities. The tradition of black excellence in gospel music. The calling to use your gift to turn hearts. Your journey toward obtaining a bachelor's degree in music starts now. Simmons College of Kentucky. Apply today. Become a part of the legacy. Welcome back to Falcon Focus. With me are my guests, Dr. Erica Gray and Ms. Courtney Standard of the Career Development Office of Simmons College of Kentucky. Uh, let's continue our conversation with Handshake. Uh -huh. We were talking about Handshake and the question I have for you is what are some of the challenges of Handshake? Well, I think the main challenge is um, not really knowing if people who are who they say they are. Okay. Just being kind of overprotective of the students. Now that's common with any social media, correct? Correct. correct. So what are we doing correct. to combat that? Well, there's a very strenuous process. Handshake, actually, this is a funny story, personal testimony. <laughs> As I was navigating through Handshake, I went through training modules. Okay. So I created sort of a dummy account. Mm -hmm. I had someone email me right away and said, look, is this you? What What's going on? Uh, this domain they monitor doesn't match. Okay. They like monitor it. They, legit monitor it. Oh, they monitor it. So I thought that that was, that was a good aspect of Handshake. Mm. Another challenge is I think, I think at first it can seem difficult. It may seem difficult for the students mm -hmm. to navigate because it's so ambiguous. There's right. so many things that you can do with Handshake. Um, but I think if people utilize it for what they need to utilize it for, and if there are bonuses, mm -hmm. I think don't, how can I say this? There's so much, yeah. you don't want to bite off stuff that you So how are you all share. narrowing it down for the students so, to be more user friendly? Um, the beginning, the registration part is probably the hardest because just like you register for anything else, you have to wait for oh, verification yeah. emails. Okay. So I, I use my Pathways course as, <laughs> that's how I test Promotion. everything out. <laughs> right. um, I had them register in class and they're telling me what thing, their feedback while we're in class. And the verification part is the part because you should be using your Simmons email address and a lot of them were not. Right. So it's not gonna yeah. verify that way. You have to use your campus mm -hmm. one. And yep. I don't know if that's a functionality that was set when the contract was signed, like automatically we're only allowing students to import email addresses from a Simmons College of Kentucky Those email. are all great questions, I have no idea. Um, after that, in the future, uh -huh. it's going to be modules. So students won't be overwhelmed with everything in Handshake. They'll be told, go to this mm -hmm. to work on mock interviews. Go mm -hmm. to this okay. to kind of prepare. Kind of off what yeah. I just mentioned. Now earlier. what percentage of students are properly set up for Handshake? 
Right now, I want to say the percentage of students on Handshake is a little under 30%. Okay. Too bad. However, everyone has sort of a profile, if you will, on Handshake. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be tapped into. Um, and that's kind of imported data from um, our science right. system. Mm -hmm. And I will campus. tell you probably what percentage of students even need to be on Handshake? Do you take freshmen through seniors or do all you focus alumni. on okay. even alumni? Alumni. So, alumni. Handshake also has a reporting function where you can filter and sort students by class. Okay. Um, a lot of corporations, kind of like the ones you've sent, mm -hmm. are looking for graduates. Exactly. Of course, graduates, prior to Courtney and I, graduates weren't engaged with Handshake, so they didn't know. But we need to work with alumni associations so that, can do that. they yes. can mm -hmm. know that the service that is wonderful because I, I don't think that was thought of before. I think that would be a great, great, great uh, benefit. It's a great function called the First Generation <laughs> Survey. Okay, on she knows all of it. So what like that it. entails <laughs> is the First Generation Survey is good for two reasons. One. It helps Simmons keep track of what their students are doing. Mm -hmm. Two, it's a it's a win-win for not only the employer, but for Simmons as well, because the employer can say, hey, we hired someone from Simmons, but Simmons can say, hey, these are the type of employers that Simmons College of Kentucky is attracting. So, so it's a, a double issue. So it's a benefit to just load in all employers before or wait until they contact us? Um, I think employers. Both ways. I okay. think employers. I think it's good to get the word out for employers to create a handshake profile period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's the new way of communicating. Especially with now, especially now with people working from home, Correct. With people mm -hmm. virtual. Correct. Um, that outreach is important because people are looking for new ways to engage. I'm finding it because you can't just walk in now and have a career fair with all these people in the room. Correct. You have to go be more creative. So what are some of the other ways you all are engaging students and what's been the feedback? So mostly I send out an email every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I reshare a lot of the flyers that we have circulating right now. So an example, we're doing a handshake drive. If you register your handshake account by Thursday, ah. you're entered into a drawing to win $100. Oh, that is so creative. Um, the, the ironic thing is I should not have put in the subject, do you want $100? Ah. Because a lot of the responses have, of course, I have yes. gotten several emails that just say, yes, I of do. Of course I will. <laughs> right. Did you click on the flyer? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so just finding ways, and I know that generationally, like previous generations, you don't need something to entice you to do something for yourself. However, if you're meeting people where they are, if you're trying to re-engage a generation or a group of people, you have to find things to bring them in. And once one or two comes in, they tell one or two more and then circulates that way. Okay. Have you all discovered what the students are really interested in? Like what kind of jobs are they wanting? I mean, we have a different age now. Where are they leaning um, toward types of careers? So again, using my class. Uh, <laughs> And I, I was kind of shocked a little bit only because of the nature of the field. But I have two who are interested in therapy and social work. Okay. Um, and then a lot are tech, entrepreneurship. Um, I, I asked a simple question on a discussion board for class of um, what is your vision for yourself or right. what's your vision for your life? And someone submitted an entire pre-business plan. And I, <laughs> I love it. What'd you do with it? I, I read it and I huh? typed in the little, the, the chat box. So what's your major? Let's work on it. Yes. Because I, it can't be lost too. Like if you put that much effort into halfway drafting yeah. a business yeah. plan that can go to a donor, mm -hmm. you need to start investing in yourself Correct. now. Oh yeah. Correct. And the good thing about um, being in the HBCU space mm -hmm. is that people are looking for diversity. So we, I think, owe it to our students to train them and to get them prepared because a lot of people are reaching out to us and our students need to Capitalize be prepared. Correct. So yep. tell me uh, a couple of the ways you're preparing them. 
what some of the direct things that you're doing? Are you able to, well, to massage them, engage yes. them? <laughs> the massaging is light at the moment, okay. but we're working toward like hot stone deep tissue. Ah, that's yeah. a great analogy. That, that's good. <laughs> I actually, um, I know one of the things that we're doing is we're collaborating with uh, student success, okay. like um, Akila Cherry, yes, Akeela. Uh, Nyla Williams, and uh, Richard Brown, and um, I know I have a segment coming up. They do workshops every Wednesday from Wonderful. 12 to 1. And what um, are some of the topics? Some of the topics might be financial literacy, okay. um, it might be a writing workshop. I know one that's coming up on October the 20th is Dress for Success. Uh -huh. And it's, it's nothing over the top, it's just simple. People might not know what business casual means, oh, yes. mm -hmm. you know, and it's really taking a step back and saying, well, why would she wear that to an interview versus, well, let me help her figure exactly. out what's appropriate to wear to an interview. Yep. So I'm just going to probably create some sort of PowerPoint because I believe it's virtual. Mm -hmm. Just showing them do's and don'ts, you know, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, how you can dress something up, how you can dress something down, just so they have that as a resource mm -hmm. so that when they do have a big interview coming up, they can reference that. Mm -hmm. And I also want to um, say, uh, if anyone's watching us and you're a corporation and you want to help our students with getting the right clothing to wear, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. reach out to Dr. Gray. We are definitely open to that. To we want standard. a whole clothes closet. Yes, because we, we have a pantry. Well, let me share my exact closet. vision. Okay. And I said this on a, you okay. weren't there on okay. a meeting. Um, I would love to get to a point where every student that enters into Simmons receives either a suit and tie okay. or an appropriate dress to wear to work. We can make that happen. With a pad folio, mm -hmm. name tag, the things that are the makings of an interview. Yeah, exactly. And then you're collecting all the tools mm -hmm. to be prepared by coming to seminars, by mm -hmm. registering handshake account, having your resume edited mm -hmm. or reviewed. I take that as a challenge. We can do that. Yeah. <laughs> because I always have donors that say, how can I help? and they want to pour into the student. Mm -hmm. And yes. it <laughs> also will allow, if there's volunteer opportunity. So if, mm -hmm. let's say 10 students are needed to usher an event at the church or something. Well, the ADOS conference is coming up. That you know that you don't have to be worried about how they're gonna show up okay. because they already have what you expect of them anyway, uh -huh. regardless of a barrier. So there, we, we're removing a challenge exactly. of somebody having to say, I don't have money to get a suit. Exactly, so mm -hmm. we're gonna handle that. That's, the, <laughs> that's, a, that's, an easy, that's an easy, easy thing. So before we have to go, I want you all to tell us about November 5th, and anyone's out there watching and wants to participate in our career fair, how do they get involved? Um, send us an email at Careers at Simmons College of Kentucky. Career development at Simmons College Kentucky. Edu. And that will be on the screen. Um, <laughs> it's it's as simple as saying I want to participate, and then let me know if you want to, want to be in person or on online, and we'll set up either your time slot for online or tell you where to come to in person. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's on November fifth in. I would like to say deadline for registration is October 30th. Okay. Because um, there's enough flexibility to yeah. set up. Um, but yes, please. So say that again. You To contact us, you can give at us... At careerdevelopment at simmonscollegekentucky.edu. And to add to that, if any employer ever wants to come on campus and do an in, a more intimate setting, please contact us. We're happy to accommodate you. And you can always call us at 502-776-1443 and ask for one of these ladies, Dr. Gray or Dr. Ms. Standard, Courtney. <laughs> uh, and even if you can't get one of them, you can always reach out for me. So I just want to thank you both for being guests <laughs> on my show. And thank I hope you. to see Thanks you back again us. and next time you come with some students. Okay. And we look at student success. All right. Thank you for joining us this week on Falcon Focus. Have a great day.